Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. The ride says it all. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. And by Yamaha Conquer Outdoors. What comes to your mind when the discussion turns to Argo amphibious vehicles? Most people conjure up images of Argo six and eight wheelers powering across a lake or pond. Actually, this image of an amphibious vehicle is exactly what you should associate with the Argo brand. After all, the Argo is truly an incomparable vehicle. To prove Argo's exclusivity, all their six and eight wheelers are referred to as XTVs, Extreme Terrain Vehicles. This year, Argo has big news on two fronts. First, it's their 50th anniversary of manufacturing their now legendary six and eight wheeled vehicles. The company has levered their exclusive technology on this reality. Ontario Drive and Gear, ODG, Argo's sister corporation, is a world leader in drive systems and power transmission in the automotive and heavy truck industry. The bulletproof, ultra-durable, tough-as-nails reputation Argo owns comes from the innovative proprietary transmission system developed by ODG for Argo and used exclusively in every Argo XTV. Something not everyone knows about Argo is just how happy their North American and worldwide dealers are with the products Argo offers. Argo has no competition, so Argo dealers are in the enviable position of selling something no one else offers. However, it is equally true Argo dealers would like to have other high quality, durable and desirable Argo branded off-road products to offer their customers. So here's the big news for model year 2018. Argo is entering the ATV business in a big way. Argo has five ATV models covering a broad spectrum of the most popular segments in the ATV marketplace. More importantly, these new Argos are built to the same exacting standards as all Argo XTVs. For Argo to offer anything but the toughest, the best performing and the most feature laden ATVs would be silly Argo buyer's expectations have been met and exceeded by the all-new Explorer line of ATVs. Without any further ado, here is the impressive all-new Argo Explorer lineup for model year 2018. It starts with the Explorer XR500 with a class-leading 39 horsepower engine, 165 pound rack capacity, and 12 full inches of ground clearance. The XR500 is available with Argo's tri-mode, speed-sensitive electronic power steering. If more features and style is what you want, the XR500 LE offers standard tri-mode EPS and 14-inch ANOVA tires on black aluminum wheels. Argo rightly identified the market for safe and legal two-up ATVs by offering the XRT500 in two trim levels with an extended chassis and a comfy king-queen saddle. There's one more Argo ATV for model year 2018, and it is impressive. We have the worldwide first exclusive introduction of this vehicle coming up on Dirt Tracks Test Ride. Don't go away. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. On this week's test ride, we're going to pull the sheets off an all new ATV from a highly respected off-road OEM known around the globe for building the toughest, most versatile amphibious extreme terrain vehicles in the industry. Whenever we say the name Argo, it immediately conjures up images of rugged amphibious six and eight wheeled vehicles. This incredible brand equity the name Argo carries has been forged over the past 50 years. These off-road vehicles are legendary with hunters, outfitters, and resource exploration companies around the world. So why is Argo launching a full line of ATVs? Here's why. Argos are selling in bigger numbers every year. To continue this amazing growth, Argo must expand its North American dealer network. To entice more dealers to sign up with Argo, Argo needs more off-road products. Launching a line of ATVs in today's crowded market requires a solid dealer network, a great reputation, and most importantly, great product. Our worldwide exclusive test of the very first Argo ATV will demonstrate Argo is on track with this 1000cc, 80 horsepower, full-featured, two-up four-wheeler. 
Going into this expansion, Argo gets it and understands they have not only to deliver great ATV products, they must also meet or exceed the value equation established by the sport's current ATV market leaders. So what's the all new Argo Explorer XRT 1000 all about? First of all, this ain't no timid 1000 twofer. It gets its impressive power from a 90 degree V-twin using single overhead cam and EFI for induction. This engine will stretch both your arms and your inseam at the same time. Aside from nailing the power issue right out of the gate, the XRT Argo has one of the industry's most comprehensive lists of standard features in the big bore segment. The XRT comes standard with aluminum wheels, quality rubber, shiftable 4x4 with diff lock, tri-mode speed sensing EPS, four-wheel disc brakes with steel braided hoses, extended wheelbase, a comfy king-queen saddle with backrest, raised footrests, and one of the slickest digital displays in the biz delivering a plethora of information. We understand our valued viewers want to know if this new Argo has got the stuff necessary to get a positive nod from our discerning and critical test riders. Here's the deal. From this point on, we'll give it to you straight. We've already covered the power issue. However, we haven't mentioned the CVT transmission. This CVT is manufactured by the world's largest supplier of power sport continuously variable transmissions, and their calibrations are near perfect. The other driveline components, including the sub tranny and the 4x4 system, feel stout, smooth, and positive when shifted. The braking system impressed us with a powerful, easily modulated response to inputs. Mud and water did not affect the brakes as long as the pilot drags the lever when leaving deep goo. From a purely mechanical standpoint, the Explorer XRT 1000 impressed us. This vehicle has a quality feel extruding through the handlebar switchgear, the engine, the transmission, and the overall ergonomics. The dual level saddle, well positioned passenger handholds, and elevated footrests make it easy for passengers to brace themselves when navigating gnarly off camber trails. The familiar handlebar switchgear falls readily to hand. Exceptional headlamps and an easy to read digi gauge make nighttime riding measurably safer. There's interesting storage trunks built into the front fenders and the seat is key locked to the chassis to prevent theft. Full size racks front and rear offer adequate capacity and the standard two inch hitch receiver comes with an anti-vibration thumb screw eliminating annoying hitch rattle. It all comes down to ride and handling in the 1000cc segment. And here's where we have good news. Against its obvious competitors, the Polaris Sportsman Touring and the Can-Am Outlander Max, the XRT1000 makes no excuses. Clearly, Argo has done its homework on the XRT. Ride quality and rocky, rutted terrain using a set of well-calibrated, preload adjustable dampers is very good. When speeds climb, and they climb fast on this 1000, the ride remains well-balanced, comfortably resisting bottoming when an unannounced crater suddenly appears. Cornering inputs are linear, assisted by the tri-mode EPS. We think Argo could deliver the XRT fixed in medium assist mode and let the speed sensitive feature do its job backing out assist as speed rises above 30 miles per hour or 50 kilometers. The all new Argo XRT 1000 impressed us on our first ride. You cannot deny that the standard featured load here is formidable. However, on an ATV this powerful, it all comes down to whether or not the chassis and suspension can handle all that power that's on tap. So here's our bottom line on the first of a new breed of ATVs targeted at the North American marketplace. This is not a hacked up or confused vehicle that looks good on paper, but is less than competent in execution. The new Explorer XRT is the real deal and without a doubt deserves a look and a test ride if you're shopping the big bore twofer segment. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Power Sports, race-inspired performance. In weeks past, you'll remember we took our pretty beat up 2008 Outlander 800 and gave it a little bit of an upgrade in horsepower to the tune of over 50% more power from a guy who knows his stuff. A fully loaded power package from Mr. RPM has taken the Outlander to a new level of performance. And while the performance from the engine components and the crisp throaty tones coming from the HMF full stainless exhaust are exceptional, the rest of the mud racer, well, it leaves a lot to be desired. And that's where we find ourselves today. So I'm back in the Trail Tech shop now and I'm ready to give the Outlander some beefy components. 
because power is really good, but it's only as good as the components and drive line that you hook it up to. The stock wheels and tires, yeah, we can get rid of those completely. No use for them anymore. You may also notice there's no longer a rear brake pedal, cylinder, calipers, or lines. I've removed those in anticipation of our new rear diff and installed a standalone front brake system using steel braided line and a single T-fitting up front. This drops a bit of weight, but more importantly is the way to go when you decide to put in a Mud & Wheels XMR Torque Series rear diff. The rear diff isn't just incredibly good looking thanks to Thrillbilly powder coating, it's incredibly functional as well. So much so that the guys from Mud & Wheels won't even tell me their secret recipe. The XMR Torque Series rear diff is big, bad, and built. After riding with Ostercruiser and his crew, I realized just how strong these diffs are and have been told that they have never broke one, ever. That speaks volumes when you know the kind of abuse these guys throw at their machines. Why no rear brake, you ask? Well, when you go to the XMR rear diff case, the mounts for the rear brake are gone, so out goes the brake too. And truth be told, we plan on using the throttle more than anything. Now, at the same time as installing the rear diff, I'm gonna add a little bit of a beef up to the rear diff mounting locations. And I did that with help from my friends at Rubber Down Customs. This is the Rubber Down Customs rear diff brace for the Gen 1 Outlanders. When you put all that horsepower into a super built and incredibly strong diff like the XMR Torque Series, the next obvious issue is the actual mounting location. Adding this brace will ensure that we don't overload the frame mounts, and when we no doubt encounter huge torque loads into the diff, there'll be no issue with the mounts being overstressed. I like to think of this mod as good insurance. We have this beautiful overbuilt diff. If we tear up the mounts, it's a huge loss. This is easy to install, cheap to buy, and part of the reassembly. Now with the rear end installed and the prop shaft back on, the next obvious addition is axles. But we don't want just any axles, we want super high quality, super strong axles that are going to take all the punishment we're going to put them through. There are a lot of axle manufacturers out there, but when I look for axles, it's not the name that I'm looking for, it's a quality built product with tangible benefits that gets my attention. These Trackmotive HD replacement CV axles are 35% stronger than stock. That's not just a number pulled from thin air either. This company tests the axles to actual braking strength to determine just how strong they are. On top of the increased strength, the Trackmotive HDs use a high-end heavy-duty molly grease inside of the CV boots. And the CV boots themselves are a functional TPE or thermoplastic elastomer that gives us superior resistance to tears and punctures, but possibly of equal importance, they actually resist caking of mud or debris because of the material. This helps us to keep the boots in better condition over the long haul and reduce buildup of heavy mud on the rotating axles, putting power to the ground more efficiently. Another functional feature is the increased five degree angle these axles will work at. Even when under abusive power and harsh conditions, keeping your wheels turning smoother, longer, and in harsher conditions. So I've put more power in the chassis, I've upgraded the differential as well as the differential mount and installed all new high strength, super high quality axles, both front and rear. And after talking with professionals like Ostercruiser and Robert Parker, I think we've come to a point where we've got some pretty solid bones in this vehicle. So make sure you stay tuned to future episodes of Dirt Tracks, where the mud racing build will continue. Closed captioning of Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailer, built for adventure. Many times the words new model may just mean coloration and new graphics, but when it comes to the all new Ranger 1000 XP, Coloration and graphics certainly are different, but that's just the icing to the completely redesigned cake. And we're uh, super excited to announce the new model year 18 Ranger XP1000. It's been five years since we did a major uh, overhaul on the Ranger chassis. It's been uh, the best selling utility vehicle in the world. Lots of customers love that machine. Uh, we've spent the last several years talking to farmers, ranchers, recreational enthusiasts, hunters all over the country. We've taken feedback from all of those owners and all of those customers, and we've baked in over 100 owner-inspired innovations in the new Ranger XP1000. With the one millionth Ranger due to roll off the production line in the very near future, I wondered what more they could do to make the Ranger that's already an impressive utility vehicle even better. I think it's uh, really exciting to look at these two machines side by side. Uh, you look at last year's Ranger XP1000 alongside the new one, and uh, you can definitely tell right away that we've got a new aggressive stance updated modern styling, and the machine definitely sits taller. Uh, that's because we brought 13 inches of ground clearance on the new Ranger XP1000, uh, class leading and uh, one inch taller than last year. 
first of all, you can see the protection on the front end. Uh, that is the largest stock bumper in the industry. If you look down low, we've got protection all the way across the, the front wheels down low uh, between the AM guards and that large bumper. Uh, large bumper also sits out in front of that body work, protecting it from any punishment you might get on the trail. Uh, out around the farm or in the yard. But that's just kind of the beginning of that front bumper. We've integrated a winch mount uh, and we've pre-wired for the winch, making it easier to install a winch. Uh, underneath the hood, you'll find the new Polaris Pulse bus bar, uh, making it easier to plug in a winch and other electrical accessories that mount right up to that bumper. And we've also integrated the Glacier Pro plow mount. Uh, so you can see the big hoop in the front, that's the upper part of the mount. And then we've got uh, the lower mount included as well, straight from the factory. Now that you've heard about the Polaris bus bar, this is one of those features that I think is gonna be found on all Polaris vehicles in the very near future, because it makes installing a Polaris engineered accessory as simple as bolting it on, plugging it in, and being done. So we also added four additional accessory cutouts on the left side of the steering wheel, and we intentionally designed the harness to adapt to things that you might wanna do outside the vehicle. You'll notice the headlights are on the left side of the vehicle, so if you're working late, it's easy to get to the headlights. We took that Polaris Pulse system. We also added an electrical connector behind the driver's seat on the B pillar, allowing you to easily add a harness to run up to an accessory Polaris Pulse bus bar in the underside of, of the roof. Also giving you additional accessory mounting up top. And we've also pre-wired for the electric box lift uh, behind the engine on the rear end of the cab. And speaking of the rear cargo box, this is one area that received a lot of updates and increased the functionality and workability of the new Ranger. As you look at that rear cargo box, it definitely stands out on the showroom floor. You can notice the updated styling, uh, the painted cargo box sides. Uh, you've got larger rear fenders, uh, but it's not just a visual thing. That box is actually bigger. We've added a whole nother inch of depth to the box. It brings about 10% more cargo box volume. Uh, it's a thousand pound cargo box, but we've also done a lot to strengthen that box. It's a whole new frame underneath the box. We've added larger D-rings in the corners to help tie down any loads that you might be carrying. And those fasten directly into the steel frame underneath the box. We've uh, welded the steel box corners uh, on the rear of the machine to help keep that box from flexing if you're carrying a full load of dirt or rock or whatever it may be you're carrying. You also notice that the tailgate's much beefier. Uh, we've increased the thickness of the tailgate, makes it much sturdier. And take a look at the lip on the backside and you'll notice there's a distinct edge that actually helps keep dust down uh, and is gonna make the ride more comfortable with your, whether you have a cab or not on the machine. With 2,500 pounds of class leading towing capacity as well as a new ultra high wear life Maxxis tire, the Ranger is ready to work. And when you're doing that work, the new increased steering angle will help you to get in, out of, and around just about anything you find yourself in. As you sit in the vehicle and you turn the wheel lock to lock, you're gonna notice that there's fewer turns. It gives you more precision and more control when you're out riding. But we also changed uh, the steering. You can turn the wheels even harder to the left or the right. And that allowed us to reduce our turning radius by 13% this year, making it even easier to navigate tight spaces and, and make tight circles if you're in the yard or, or working around the shop. While the one-piece rigid chassis and stylish good looks are great features, the interior of the Ranger is where a lot of the new innovation comes in. When we talk about making Ranger more refined, a lot of those refinements are gonna be right in the cab. We spend a lot of time in there because we know our owners spend a lot of time in those cabs all day long. And there's a number of creature comfort improvements that we made. It starts with getting in and out of the vehicle. Uh, you'll notice down on the footwells, we've added a full five more inches uh, to make it easier to get in and out. Seats are much more comfortable. We've added another inch of foam to the seats, added some additional sculpting, upgraded the material on the seat bases themselves. And if you look at storage inside the cab, We've upped the ante on storage. We're up to about 13 and a half gallons. And if you look in the lower dash, we've got a, about a three and a half gallon storage bin, starting with two glove boxes. We've added a double glove box, enlarging the in-dash glove box uh, over last year, and then adding an entirely new glove box up top, uh, increasing in-dash sealed storage by about 50%. Uh, that's gonna allow you to carry larger items, such as tools or a thermos or anything you might have with you all day long. And it's gonna keep them in place with confidence. With six cup holders, cutouts for mug handles, as well as cell phones, the interior of the Ranger is really well laid out. Out back, the 1,000cc motor is similar to the older version with just two increased horsepower, but it's the transmission that's really making news. We know guys work these machines hard every day, so we actually redesigned the entire clutch from the ground up, focused on drivability, durability, and serviceability. Um, it is the widest ratio clutch in its class. 
So we've got some of the smoothest engagement and we're confident this is the smoothest riding Ranger we've ever built. Um, in addition to that, we've increased the belt size by about 32%. It's the same belt that we've got in the Razor Turbo 144 horsepower. So you know that this belt is built to, to take some punishment um, and it's designed to do work in this Ranger. We've increased cooling. Uh, we've got more than double the airflow over the belt than we had in last year's model. Also helping with that belt life and ensuring that you're not gonna have any problems with your belt. While there's lots more new about the new Ranger 1000 XP, you're gonna have to wait till the end of the season for a full test ride. But before I go, there's one more piece of information Chris has for you that I think adds serious value right at the dealer showroom level. And we're also excited to back up all of these claims on durability and protection by announcing an all new 12 month factory warranty on all model year 18 Rangers. We're able to do this because we know that Rangers are the hardest working, smoothest riding vehicles on the market and we built them to live up to anything you want to put them up to. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation, Can-Am, the ride says it all, and by Arctic Cat, share our passion. Thanks for watching this latest segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more awesome content, feel free to click any of the links on the screen or subscribe to our YouTube page where we update daily with great content on a weekly basis.